Oil and gas exploration has been going on in Ireland since the 1960s. With the rising price of oil and gas today and the recent technological advancements, Ireland's Atlantic margin has become a potentially lucrative prospect for those who wish to explore. The space itself covers an area nine times the size of Ireland, is reported to house 10 billion barrels of oil and could be worth hundreds of billions of euro to the Irish economy. Or is it? Under the 1975 Irish Government Strategy for Energy Extraction, the state would have held a 50% shareholding in any oil or gas discovery, and the extracting company would have had to pay royalties of at least 8%, as well as tax at a rate of 50%. In 1985, government ministers began eroding the share the state had in its own resources. The culmination of their efforts mean that currently, multinational exploration companies own 100% of the oil and gas they find under Ireland. Irish waters. They pay no royalties on it. Their profits are taxed at a minimum of 25 and a maximum of 40 percent. And they can write off 100 percent of their costs against the tax they pay the Irish government. They are under no obligation to keep the oil or gas in Ireland or even to sell it back to us. As the former director of Stat Oil ENP Ireland has noted, no country in the world gives as favourable terms to the oil companies as Ireland. The Irish government has cut health care and education introduced new taxes and increased austerity, and now expects the Irish people to watch as billions of euro will flow from under Irish waters straight into the economies of other countries. Green Gold are calling for a renegotiation of the current licensing terms, in line with the rest of the world, which will see Ireland being considered among global investors as a country with a stable energy supply and a strong economy backed by oil. Visit the website, sign the petition,